Hello, I am Jody Wolf. You're watching Expose, July 19, 2016, 1.36 a.m. Um, as you all know, a lot is supposed to happen between now and near the end of August. Well, on top of that, there's a lot going to happen in September. And there has been some open threats made. When I say open threats, I don't mean of uh, injury type, but either you do this and you tell the people or we'll tell the people. And uh, and I'll, I'll get to that in a moment. But we are supposed to have a very busy rest of this month August even busier of all the things that's supposed to take place and happen in November even busier but then the grand finale not coming until later in November and um, one I know that you all have seen the re-release multiple times of uh the green horse or the pale horse, the rider that came out of a Muslim, um, I can't even think of the place they go when they were in Saudi Arabia and they do this once a year. Anyway, you saw the pale horse. It was, and of course that was uh, at best a bad um, image inserted into it, uh, what you were watching. And um, I can't even say that it was a holog hologram. It wasn't that good. But anyway, and there's been other images. And one was posted recently, and it shows several horses with riders, but they're in the clouds. And this guy's driving down the street, and then you see them off to the right. They're coming out of the clouds right over the front of his car almost. Well, several horses with riders is not even biblical in any way. So, whoever put that in there didn't have that train of thought going because it's going to only be four horses, four horsemen, and you may not even see them as horsemen, okay? They may just appear and start. But with each one that is seen according to the Bible brings death. Each one of them. Each one. And also the four angels released from the river Euphrates. Each one brings death. Multiple deaths. Many deaths. So these horses... It, had they been legitimate and came through there, a lot of people would have died. But I didn't see anyone drop to the ground. But let me let me just give you some headlines of just just what I'm seeing here. And and this one is one that keeps pinching at me. So I'm gonna say something about it. And it's posted by John Doe. Um, if you live in Oklahoma, Texas, New York, New Jersey, Florida, California, get out now. YouTube, just look it up as I said it. I haven't looked at it, but I've seen this multiple times in different ways, but I've just always hear them talk about if you come through the take your gun, if you come through, if everything's not 100% legit, then you're going to one of their prisons. I think that's hogwash, at least for now. Also, L.A. Marzulli, he's got another video of uh, Nephilim men's fallen angels. And um, that's something that, that I would look for because that's going to make a, a lot of sense in our near future, exactly what he is talking about 
L.A. Marzulli and all his studies that he's been doing for a long time about Nephilim, who they really are, and all the fallen angels, who they really are, and these little gray things, who they really are. We're about to find out. Um, and then you have hunting the watchers. Watchers would be considered the angels that fell. They were watchers. They were assigned to watch over this planet, but they fell and they mated with the daughters of men. So there's still some of these watchers or their bodies that they think are still here. Now, whatever it was they pulled out of the cave in, in Pakistan, I don't know, or Afghanistan, I don't know. I just know it was real, it was big, and it was ugly, and it was scary. Um, but anyway, hunting the watchers on the trail of episode 10. That's L.A. Marzulli once again. Now, there's all of a sudden a, a small documentary put up by Vladimir Putin's Rise to Power. It's, for some reason, they want you to know this. His picture looks like a little 6th or 7th grade skinny boy with a little twinge of evil in his eye. You know, that guy that was always silent and probably picked on growing up. Never underestimate those little dudes. And um, and then you're going in, you have Jason A. I've seen this a million times. End of the world is coming. End of the world is coming. Get ready, you know. And then there are signs in the heavens and on the earth in times ahead. This is called end times productions, but I'm getting to a point, believe it or not. Now, beginning to get to that point, U.S. NATO to attack Putin military drills in Russia and, I mean, war game drills. And uh, in this titled War WW3 Red Alert, that is the title of it, and they're there. They've been doing this off and on for a while. This is why their jets have buzzed our ships as close as 30 feet at about 600 miles an hour. And, um, and then you have I can't remember the guy's name, but breaking news, WW3 News, Emergency Planet Close to World War III Special Report. And um, I can't think of the guy's name, but he's, he's always talking about Prison Planet. Maybe that will give you a... Anyway, putting warns of nuclear war. And he is... He is, I don't believe that. In, in all honesty, I don't believe that. But there it is. Race war confirmed. Martial law is near. I do believe that. I believe that. I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, I believe it at a 10. Anonymous. Hillary Clinton, the root of all corruption, or you can change it. Anonymous. Money, the root of all evil. And both are true. Now, that guy I mentioned a moment ago, breaking news, World War Three, Alex Jones. He's saying it again, emergency planet close to WW3. No, not yet. We're not that close. And, and besides that, I don't think that'll come to the very end of the tribulation. And um, people seeing angels, people having conversations with angels. Phone call leaked. All USA people need to see this. July 2016, the New World Order. This is something that's supposed to have been ready and I agree a hundred and ten percent with that. The New World Order is supposed to be ready, but as long as we Christians are here, it can not happen. 
Just remember that it can't happen until we're gone. Um, Illuminati reveals themselves. Antichrist is here. He may be here, but he's not known. He can't be known until we're out of here. But here's the one that uh, to me is is uh, going to make our president, and I, I even hate to call him that, Obama disclosed, yes, we have little gray men here among us because putting to the United States disclosure of ET life or Russia will. Putin said that, and this is not the first time he has said that. Too many other countries have had their disclosures. Canada, Mexico, parts of Europe, even parts of Russia. I don't know why parts of Russia, but parts of Russia. And um, so there's a lot of stuff that I think that we're going to see come to pass in the very near future that we're not ready for. And if we're not ready for it, and it has to come, then that would just mean that the Christians, that believe it or not, there's going to be a rapture one day, and it seems like a very hard thing to believe and imagine. Well, it, it seems that way, and I cannot imagine it as hard as I try. Imagine that, like I can sympathize with someone who just had a bullet go through their hand, but I can't empathize with them because that means one would have to go through my hand for me to empathize with them. So while I sympathize with these people, I can't empathize. I, I don't believe this. I just, you know, a lot of it I don't believe. And uh, but yet all of it's going to happen, but we'll have to be out of here first. So hopefully I will never be able to empathize with any of it. That's my that's my hope and prayer. Jody Wolf exposed.